Hello there, everybody. I'm Mel Allen, and this is Baseball Collection. Yo and hello everybody, Mike here, Baseball Collector, and it's Thursday, and got a little bit of mail to show off, some slabs, a nice little stack of slabs, nothing too huge, uh, some other cards actually from 2019 tops that I'm going to show you, which are like, what are you doing buying 2019 tops? Well, I'll explain in just a second. We're getting even closer and closer to the national, bam, and that many days. And I'm just looking forward to that so much. Uh, but I haven't been buying a whole lot lately. I've really, really, really pared back. I literally have nothing on the way. The stuff I got yesterday in the mail that I'm going to show today is is it. It's what, all I have in my eBay. Uh, I'm not really watching a whole lot of things. I don't know what it is. Um, I think part of it is I, my computer kind of went kaput, my desktop, where I have all of my lists and everything, all my spreadsheets. And so... I'm kind of waiting to get all that transferred over to my new computer, which should be sometime this weekend. And then I, because I, I, I hate going on and it's hard to search when you don't have a list to search from. So I haven't really been looking a whole lot. So I haven't been buying a whole lot. One thing I'm going to do today that's kind of different besides showing you my mail is talk about kind of, uh, I'm going to do one little traditional kind of shout out. And then some kind of reverse shout outs or, or just kind of different shout outs. I want to shout out to kind of some people that have kind of disappeared from the YouTube community and I don't know where they've gone and I, and I miss them doing content and I kind of just curious. So, uh, I, th I was kind of going through my, uh, I have, I don't know, I don't know how many channels you subscribe to two I subscribed to 220 or so of which 215 of them are sports card related channels. And uh, so I was going through my list of sub subscriptions and I'm like, man, I haven't seen a video from such and such in a long time. And so it made me think I'm going to do kind of a shout out to them and say, hey, come back, come, come do more content. We miss you. And the first one I, I saw was Rhina Martin and his name is John and he hasn't done a video in like five months. Uh, a League of Their Own, Caitlin. A lot of people talk about her all the time. She hasn't done a video in five months. JMVP, John, hasn't done a video in two and a half months. And so I guess my question would be, what what makes people go into these long hiatuses where they, some type of sabbatical where they take some time off of YouTube and, and stop making content? Uh, for me, I just enjoy doing it. So it's hard for me to imagine taking that kind of time off. Might I take a week or two off here and there? Sure. But uh, I enjoy making content and enjoy the interaction with the community. So I don't know. I guess it's hard if you, I guess people could get frustrated and uh, kind of down on their channels, maybe not growing at a rate that they expected or they're not getting the views that they had hoped for. And, and that happens to all of us. I mean, that happens to me even because I know, like I did the interview the other day with Greg uh, Forwork, who is the Tops photographer, and I felt like that was one of the best videos literally I have ever done. And it's got the lowest view count of any of my last like 20 or 30 videos, and I just don't understand it. Uh, I see guys that open, that will show something absolutely amazing that costs you know, lots of, not that money is the only thing, but just really cool stuff. And their view counts are really small. And the same person can open a pack of 89 Fleer and get 5,000 views. I mean, I just don't understand how that works. But if you're a YouTuber, I, I've never tried to figure that out, by the way. That's just um, exercise in madness, trying to figure that out. But I promise you, this video will get more views than the video I did a couple of days ago during the, doing the interview. And so, but this will be way, like I would say that video is a hundred times better than this video will be. <coughs> and yet the views will be much more. I don't understand, but I can see if you're a content creator getting frustrated with that 
and giving up and stopping to make content. Uh, I know it can be frustrating sometimes for people. So the shout out that I actually want to give is for, I love discovering new channels and I have to give a shout out to uh, uh, Hall of Fame collector Bill. He turned me on to this guy and I think Bill and I are literally his only two subscribers. He has two subscribers and he started a few weeks ago, maybe maybe even a couple of months ago, making content. And his channel name is 3000 Hitman. I'll put a link down below, and there it is right there. 3000 Hitman. Like, literally the number 3000 Hitman. His name's Matt, and he makes really good content, has a good presence, and he's just getting started, and he is just joining the community. So we need to welcome him with open arms and go check him out. So that's... So that he doesn't get frustrated and end up leaving the community. Uh, and I know at the end of the day, we're all doing this just for fun and for our friends and stuff like that. But, you know, support each other. It's important. So I know you didn't come here to watch me drabble on for six minutes about this. So let's look at some cards. Hang on one second. All right, here we go with some cards. Uh, the 2019 top stuff I was talking about is something that I got... Uh, I got this little lot here. Let's try to show this to you. I got these lot, all these in 2019 tops. They have these cards about with the different team stadiums on them. And the reason I thought these were cool is because I try to go to every stadium, and I just thought it was a. First of all, I like the design. Uh, it shows each park for each team, and I really just thought maybe doing something with all the different tickets that I have from the different stadiums, making some kind of display piece or something. There's Chavez Ravine. So just cool stuff. Uh, I don't have, this is the series one. There's 15 of them and then there's 15 in series two. I don't have the series two yet. So if there's anybody that has a series two with all the stadiums in them and you want to do a deal for it or something, let me know, put a comment down below. I would love to just pick up series two pretty easy so there they are all the different stadiums I'm not going to show all of them but well I haven't been to that one yet SunTrust I need to do that one I think there's another one in here that I don't that I haven't been to let me see yep so I haven't been to Oakland Coliseum I haven't been there I haven't been to the new uh, Atlanta and I haven't been to Tampa Bay so those are I don't think I saw Tampa Bay in here but Tropicana Field so I still need to do all those, but the rest of them I've done. So I don't know. I'd love some ideas maybe on how to do a cool display for that as well. All right, here we go with some slabs. And these are all cards for my three decade set. They're all cards I got from the same seller. So it was uh, nice to just pick them all up. Re I got all these really cheap. So this first one is is nice. It's It's a four, but for their league leader cards and stuff like that, I'm much less concerned about grade. And this one's pretty well centered. It's got some corner issues. But it pictures three Hall of Famers, Joe Torre, Willie Stargell, Hank Aaron. Joe Torre is awesome because I, th I think he is, without a doubt, the in terms of looking at managers that are in the Hall of Fame, he by far had the best playing career. He's in the Hall of Fame as a manager, but he could easily be in the Hall of Fame as a player as well. But he had a tremendous career, won an MVP award, and look who he's, he beat for the NLRBI leaders in 1971. Willie Stargell and Hank Aaron. It's a pretty good company. So nice card there. Then I got a 69 tops RBI leaders. You're going to see a theme here. That was the 71 RBI leaders. Here's the 68 RBI leaders. Also three Hall of Famers pictured here. Billy Williams, Ron Santo, and Willie McCovey. And uh, this is an excellent five. Then I've got the 67 RBI leaders. I think it was just kind of coincidence that I happened to buy all these RBI leaders. But here you got another three Hall of Famers. Carl Yastrzemski, Harmon Killebrew, Frank Robinson. This is from Yastrzemski's famous uh, Triple Crown season in 1967. So that's cool. That's what that is. That's a five as well. Here is... I looked at this guy. I've looked this card over since I got it, and it's a four. And I, I mean, the corners are a little soft, but this card's really nice for a four. And it, again, three more Hall of Famers. You got Jim Bunning, 
Fergie Jenkins and Gaylord Perry for the strikeout leaders. So I will take that. And I got two, just these are, again, these are all from the same seller. So I got this uh, Hoyt Wilhelm, 1971 tops in a PSA six. It's definitely off center top to bottom, but Hoyt Wilhelm. And then the last card of the day is this one right here. It is a 1970 tops Lou Brock. That's a PSA five, which you got some, again, some corner issues, but the centering on this card is nice. Overall, it's a very clean card. The back, I think, is pretty off-center. Let's look real quick, if I remember right. No, it's not too bad. I mean, it's off-center for sure, but it's not terrible. But uh, there you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's all I got for today. Hope you all have a nice night. We'll catch you soon. Keep collecting.